Whilst there are typically only a few Salesforce roles available when you start out your career, after you have a few years under your belt, the ecosystem is your oyster. A career within the world of Salesforce provides a number of different career paths, which require multiple skills and focus on a variety of different Salesforce products. And it's in these niche Salesforce products where you can typically find some of the most in-demand roles, which of course come with exciting opportunities and a big boost to your salary. In this video, we'll go through some of the most in-demand Salesforce products and features that you can focus on to ensure a fruitful career in the Salesforce ecosystem. Each skill we go through will have a demand rating, which gives a rough indication of how in-demand this skill is in the ecosystem, as well as an effort rating, which shows you how hard the skill is to learn. These are rated from one to five, with five being the highest demand and the most effort to learn. First up, we've got MuleSoft, which is a platform that supports companies integrating multiple systems, typically to and from Salesforce. Instead of integrating different systems one by one with point-to-point -point integrations, MuleSoft provides a platform with a whole host of features to make integration much easier. MuleSoft is referred to as an enterprise service bus application, which routes all the integrations through the platform where different rules can be set up to push and pull data in different directions through different systems. MuleSoft also has templated solutions to make building integrations easier and allowing you to not start from scratch each time. Whilst MuleSoft makes integrations much easier, it still requires a skilled developer to set up these integrations and fully understand best practices when it comes to integrations. After all, an integration set up incorrectly can be disastrous for a business. We've given MuleSoft a demand rating of five, but also an effort rating of five. Next up, we've got OmniStudio, which is a core part of the Salesforce Industries product. Salesforce Industries was previously called Velocity and was acquired by Salesforce for 1.3 billion back in 2020. Velocity has a number of industry-focused Salesforce solutions that has out-of-the-box features for common business processes. Products include industry solutions for media, telecommunications, insurance, financial services, and much more. OmniStudio is a suite of digital tools that simplify the creation of complex industry-specific experiences on Salesforce. These configuration-first tools enable designers to create a guided brand experience resembling a flow with the UI and styling flexibility of Lightning Web Components. Salesforce Industries is one of Salesforce's fastest growing products, currently at 50% year over year, and OmniStudio is one of the most important back-end features of this product suite. And because of this, we've given OmniStudio a demand rating of five, but an effort rating of three. DevOps is a hot trend in the Salesforce ecosystem, which has mostly been driven by app exchange partners such as Gearset, Capado, Flowsome, and AutoRabbit. But Salesforce has recently released the DevOps Center, a free alternative to change sets that allows Salesforce professionals to deploy using modern best practices. DevOps Center utilizes tools such as Git repository for source control and allows you to set up a custom branching strategy. Whether you are using the DevOps Center or a third-party DevOps tool, it's not such a far-fetched idea to say that all companies will be using modern DevOps best practices in a few years, so it's best to get ahead while you can. We've given the DevOps Center a demand rating of four and an effort rating of three. Since Salesforce released their Lightning experience, which is the current user interface we all know and love, Lightning Web Components have become the core way to developers to build custom components on the Salesforce platform. They replace the old school Visual Force language that we used on Salesforce Classic. Developers are always one of the most in-demand roles across the Salesforce ecosystem, and Lightning Web Components are a core part of the job description, alongside building automations through Apex. Lightning Web Components are based on a JavaScript framework, and although this is challenging to learn from scratch, if you have a web development background, this could be a really easy way to transition to a familiar language and skill. Lightning Web Components have a demand rating of four, as well as an effort rating of five, but this will be significantly lower if you have previous experience in JavaScript. Tableau was another acquisition made by Salesforce back in 2019 for a whopping 15.7 billion. Tableau is a well-loved business intelligence tool that has advanced reporting and visualization that goes beyond Salesforce reports and dashboards. Tableau is an off-platform product that can be connected to your Salesforce instance with an out-of-the-box connector. It allows you to slice and dice data in an advanced manner to get further insights out of your Salesforce org. As Tableau is a totally new product, there is a steep learning curve to understand the platform. 
However, a strong background in Salesforce reporting will massively help. We've given Tableau a demand rating of four due to the fact not many Salesforce professionals have this skill under their belt, as well as an effort rating of three. Salesforce have also announced they are providing free Tableau starter licenses to enterprise and unlimited customers, which makes learning this tool much more accessible. CRM Analytics, previously called Tableau CRM, before that Einstein Analytics and before that Wave, is another advanced reporting and visualization business intelligence tool, but built natively on the Salesforce platform. This product is great if you're running into limitations with native reports and dashboards and need some extra options to properly slice, dice, and visualize your data. As CRM Analytics is built on the Salesforce platform, the learning curve isn't as steep as Tableau, We've given it an effort rating of 2.5, but a demand rating of four. Data Cloud, previously called Genie, is a CDP product that Salesforce have built, which stands for Customer Data Platform. It's an advanced tool that allows you to gather together data about your customers from multiple disparate sources and transform it into a single view of an individual. Data Cloud is mostly a marketing tool and the database that is used to connect with your customers at the right moment using the right channel. Data Cloud is a relatively new product, but Salesforce is seeing a big uptick in customers adopting this tool. Therefore, we give Data Cloud a demand rating of 2.5, but with huge upside to move to a 5 quite easily in the new future, and an effort rating of 3.5. In addition to the Tableau licenses, Salesforce have announced that you can get free Data Cloud starter licenses if you're an enterprise or unlimited customer which again, makes learning this tool much more accessible. Marketing Cloud is one of the older acquisitions on this list, which Salesforce acquired back in 2013. Marketing Cloud has a whole suite of products that allow you to connect and market to your customers on a variety of channels, such as email, SMS, online adverts, and much, much more. Marketing Cloud is currently off platform, but does have a very similar user interface to the core Salesforce platform. However, there are many new concepts to learn, such as data extensions and new coding languages like AmpScript to code dynamic elements in emails. Marketing Cloud skills are very in demand due to this learning curve, and therefore we've given it a demand and effort rating of five. Marketing Cloud Account Engagement, previously called Pardot, is one of the most popular email tools on the market and sits within the overall Marketing Cloud suite of products. Whilst a lot of Marketing Cloud tools are focused on B2C, Pardot is primarily focused on the B2B market and has features such as landing page builder, lead scoring, and website tracking. This platform is popular with Salesforce professionals as it has an easy to use interface and can have a big impact on your business without a huge amount of implementation setup. Pardot is still a niche skill and therefore we've set the demand rating at three but the effort at two, as there are many resources online to get started. Finally, we arrive at CPQ, which is one of the most challenging Salesforce products to learn. CPQ stands for Configure Price Quote and extends the standard Salesforce functionality of quoting to be much more advanced. This is suitable for businesses that have a complicated set of products that need business rules to be built in. So for example, if you sell product A, you can't add products B, but you can only add products C and D. These are suitable when configuring complex products such as a car. CPQ not only requires a good amount of knowledge of the CPQ platform, but also the business processes around quoting that must be implemented for each product. Because of the steep learning curve and also the lack of resources online, we've placed demand at five, but effort also at five. I hope you've enjoyed this video, which has given you some insight into the hottest niches currently in the Salesforce ecosystem. Do you have a skill that you're currently working on? Or are you going to take some inspiration from this video? Let us know in the comments below.